Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord God Almighty, the maker and the possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Eichbonner, and this is David Eichbonner Ministries. Today is our prayer, healing, and deliverance service. And we, the emphasis of our prayer today will be um, requesting for help from above. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where comes my help? My help comes from the Lord. And so we lift up our eyes unto the Lord who is our help. He it is that is our source and our sustainer. And I want you to stay on through the prayer service. We are going to be praying together. It's not just me praying now. It's the two of us praying in agreement. And so let us begin by giving God thanks. Thank him for what he has done in your life. Thank him for his protection, his provision. Give him thanks and praise. For the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Thank him. We enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. That is how we approach him with thanksgiving. And when you are thankful, the Lord will do more for you. When you give him thanks for what he has already done, he will do much more for you. Psalm 121 verse 1, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, for where comes my help? My help comes from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Give him thanks. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, O God. We worship your holy name. For you alone art worthy to be praised and adored. We thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise. We give you adoration. For you are good and your mercy is forever. We praise you, Lord. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are grateful for this hour, for this time of prayer. We thank you that you said that we should call upon you in the day of trouble. You will answer us. We thank you that you are still the same yesterday, today, and forever. You answer prayers. We give you thanks, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your holy name. We give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. And now I want you to thank the Lord for specific events in your life. Things that have happened in your life. Your family, your children, you're going out, you're coming in. That thing you have asked the Lord for, you may not have seen it yet, but have faith that it is coming. Thank Him even before you see it. Thank Him before you see the answer to your prayer, and you're going to see it come. Give Him thanks for your work, for your business. Thank Him. Father, we thank you, for you are our help. We give you thanks and praise, Lord, maker and possessor of heaven and earth. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for my life, for my children, for my wife. Thank you for the progress my children are making. Thank you for my wife, Lord God. Thank you for my ministry. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for what you are doing in my life. Thank you for what you are using me to do in the lives of others. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the partners of this ministry, those who are supporting this ministry. Lord, bless and reward them. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for these ones that are participating in this service. Lord, you said, wherever two or three are gathered in your name, you will be there. Father, I pray that your presence will be manifest wherever this service is participated in. Lord, thank you. Touch them. Heal, save, deliver, Lord. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 19. The book of 1 John chapter 1, verse 19. The Bible says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and and just to forgive us. And so I want you to confess your sins unto the Lord. 
asking him for mercy. Confess your sins unto the Lord, asking him for mercy. Say, Lord, I did this, I said that. I thought this. Have mercy on me. He will have mercy on you when you pray. So trust him right now to forgive you. Pray right now. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Don't ask him to show you where you have sinned, where you have erred. Ask him to show you anywhere you sinned against him. Pray right now. Say, Lord, have mercy. Show me where I sinned against you. Show me where I sinned against you. Pray right now. If you ask him for mercy, he will show you mercy. He will show you mercy. Trust him. The Lord will show you mercy. Pray right now. Father, I pray for forgiveness. I ask that you forgive the lies, the bitterness, the foolish speaking, the gossip, the slander, Lord. Forgive the sexual immoralities, the arrogance. Lord, I pray in agreement with my brethren that you have mercy on us, you forgive us. Cleanse us of all unrighteousness, O Lord. Take away every desire for sin. Take away every weakness towards sin, we pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Forgive, Lord God, and cleanse us from sin. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Confess your sins, ask him for mercy. Now thank the Lord for forgiving you. Give him thanks for forgiving you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And now we are going to take some other prayer points. But before we continue, if this is your first time of watching any of my videos on my platform or you are just um, you've been following but you have not subscribed I want you to subscribe if you haven't done so before click the subscribe button click the bell notification sign that is by the subscribe button and click on all and I I want you to please share this video share it as much as you can and we are experiencing a lot of censorship on Facebook and YouTube and so we are branched to other platforms so please find me on these platforms and be subscribed even if you are subscribed on Facebook and YouTube still add the others in case you don't see my videos or, or anything I post you can find me on ODC ODC.com on BitChute you can find me on Brytheon. You can also find me on Rumble. David Igbona. You look for David Igbona or David Igbona Ministries. You also find me on Locals.com at David Igbona. The channel name is Burning Hearts, but you can just click or you can type at David Igbona. It will take you there. Please make sure you are subscribed to my uh, Plat uh, channel on multiple platforms, not just one, at least two or three, so that in case we are off in one, we'll be in the other. And God bless you as you do that. Please click the like button and um, you can leave a comment so I know you are there. So now we are going to be praying. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 6 verse 31 that if the thief be caught, he will be made to return, to pay back sevenfold what he stole, even if it means his entire house is plundered. Satan is the thief. Some of you, Satan has stolen your peace. Some of you, Satan has stolen your property. Some of you, Satan has stolen your finances. Some of you, Satan has stolen your children. Some of you, Satan has stolen your spouse. It could be that your spouse is having an affair or into drugs or alcohol 
or, or, or abusive. Satan has stolen that spouse. And so what do you do? You command the devil to return what he stole. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 31. The thief will be made to return sevenfold. And so what is that thing in your life that you know you ought to have but the devil has stolen from you? You are going to command the devil to return it to you right now. You are going to pray. You are going to command. Now you are not asking God. You are going to talk to the devil and command him to return. You see, you have asked the Lord to forgive your sins. You've confessed your sins before God. And so the blood of Jesus has cleansed you. Satan does not have legal ground in your life right now. Use that opportunity. Command him to return. We are going to say it like this. In the name of Jesus, Satan, you are the thief. And you have stolen, you mentioned what he stole from your life. You have stolen this from my life. And the Bible says that when the thief is caught, he will return sevenfold that which he stole. And so I command you to return. You mention what it is that was stolen from you. Return this now, sevenfold in Jesus' name. Even if robbers robbed you, they work for the thief. Even if it is a human being that took it physically and ran away, he works for the thief. So now command. Do that right now. Whatsoever it is that was stolen from you, your health. Whatever, command the thief to return it. Satan, return my health. Return my finances. Return my children. Return it. In the name of Jesus, return my clothing. Return my peace. In the name of Jesus, you have been caught. And now I command you, according to scriptures, to return that which you have stolen from me. Do that right now. Command the enemy to return it. Pray right now. Command that thing to be returned to you. Command it to be returned to you. Command it returned to you. Command it to be returned to you. To be returned to you. Believe it and it is so. In Jesus' mighty name. We are going to be praying. Our next prayer point is a prayer for provision. Now the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 that we should seek first the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added unto us. So you seek the prosperity of the church first before looking at yourself. God will bless you because you seek his kingdom. The Bible says in Zechariah, the book of Zechariah is in the Old Testament. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. It says, Thus says the Lord, Again, true prosperity shall my cities be spread abroad. Again, through prosperity shall my cities be spread abroad abroad. So financial increase, influence, uh, increase in influence and power is supposed to be for the furtherance of the gospel, for the expansion of the kingdom of God. There are ministries that need funding. There are, there, there are ministers of the gospel that need funding for them to go out there and do what God wants them to do. There are those that have the funds and they are not using it. They are probably are just accumulating it in the bank accounts, not supporting missionary work, not supporting evangelism, just wanting to have a big bank statement. 
and there are those that are actually using their resources for the kingdom. I want you first to check yourself. Are you using your resources for the kingdom of God? That is something you should look at. But now I want you to pray right now and ask the Lord to send provision to those who are preaching the gospel, those who are involved in the ministry. There are prayer ministries, those that do a lot of praying. There are those that are full-time praying for people. You may not see them, but they are there. There are deliverance ministries, healing ministries. I say, Lord, send provision to those who are in need for your kingdom expansion. Send finances for kingdom expansion. Pray right now. Lord, we pray that you will send provision to those who are involved in spreading the gospel in, in, in the ministry. Lord, send provision. Your word says in Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17, Again, through prosperity shall my cities be spread abroad. Lord, we pray that you spread your cities abroad. You spread them abroad. That, Lord, you will prosper your church. That the word of God may spread. That missions will be successful. That, Lord, you, you will pray that you will send partners to those who are in need of partners. That, Lord, they may carry the word, teach the word of God. That, Lord God, the kingdom will grow. They expand. That your word will grow and prevail. We pray, Lord God, for your provision. That you increase the finances of your servants. That they may go about fulfilling your desires. We pray, Lord God, for silver and the silver and gold are yours. The world and all that is in it. Lord, we pray that you release financial provision. Release what is needed in every ministry, for every ministry, Lord, to go out there and fulfill their calling. We pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch those who you have positioned to be, to bring this to pass. Touch their hearts, open their eyes. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for those that are serving you. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now you are going to pray for yourself. Having prayed for the kingdom expansion. The Bible says in the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 25. It says, you shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. So when you serve God... God will bless you and he will keep you healthy because you are serving him. Now, if you have not been serving God with your resources, with your money and your time and your gifts, I want you to ask the Lord for mercy and I want you to change your heart towards that and begin to use that which you have for the kingdom. Because when you, you stand before the Lord Jesus Christ, you are not going to stand with your, with your money. You are going to stand to explain, to give account of what you did with your money. You wouldn't be there with that money. You are going to give account of what you used that money to do. And I'm sure Jesus Christ would not be impressed for you to say, I suspected all ministries and so I decided to give to none. He wouldn't like that. He wouldn't fancy that at all. In fact, the Bible describes such a servant as an unprofitable servant that he will cast out. So don't be that servant that would stand before Jesus and say, well, I heard some ministries were not genuine and so I kept all my money. So if you are serving the Lord, if you are giving to the kingdom, if you are supporting the spreading of the gospel, this scripture is for you. You shall serve the Lord. If you are doing anything to serve God, cleaning the chairs in the church, carrying, spreading tracts, whatsoever it is you are doing in the service of the Lord. This scripture is for you. Use it to pray right now. Exodus chapter 23 verse 25. You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and water. 
You shall serve the Lord your God. He shall bless your bread and water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. So pray right now. Lord, pour out your blessings upon my life. Pour out your blessings upon my family. Lord, you have said so in your word that you will bless my bread and water. You will bless my health. Lord, be it unto me according to your word. Be praying right now. Lord, be it unto me according to your word in Exodus 23, 25. And pour out your blessings upon me. Bring your blessings upon my family. Pray right now. Pray right now. The Lord will sustain you. He will keep you because you are serving him. You are committed to the expansion of the kingdom. He will bless you. Pray right now. Father, I thank you for the privilege to serve you. Father, I pray that you shall bless me. That you will you pour out your blessings upon me. Pour out your blessings upon my family, oh God. You said in Exodus 23, 25, that because I serve you, you will bless my bread and water and you will take sickness away from me. Lord, I pray that no member of my family will be sick, that we shall all walk in divine health. Lord, take away any sickness that resides in our body, any affliction of flesh and mind. Take away, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, may your blessings pour out upon me. Lord, I pray that those who around me will enjoy the blessings of the Lord in my life. Lord, thank you. Thank you for you are God and there is none like unto you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I hope you are praying for yourself. Pray for your family. That the blessings of the Lord will be upon you. And all that is yours. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Our next prayer point is a prayer for wisdom and understanding. We need wisdom. The Bible says with, with wise counsel make war. The Bible says that wisdom is better than weapons of war. The Bible says in all your getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. So where is wisdom gotten from? The word of God. The word of God is wisdom. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 18, Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. Psalm 119 verse 18, Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. You are going to ask the Lord to open your eyes to his word. Open your understanding to his word. When you understand the word of God, you will be a high flyer in life. You will be succeeding in everything you put your hands to do. You, Because of the guidance of God's word, you will escape the traps of the enemy. I want you to pray right now. Lord, open my eyes and my mind to your word. Open my heart and my mind to your word. Open my eyes to behold wondrous things of, out of your law. Pray right now. Lord, give me understanding of your word. Give me understanding of your word. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will, you will open the eyes of my, of my heart and mind, Lord. Open me up to your word. I want to feed on your word. I want to absorb your word. I want to walk in your ways. I pray, Lord, that your word will be a light unto uh, my path. Lord, may your word be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. Father, I pray, give me wisdom. Give me a spirit of excellence that I may walk in your ways and be productive. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. I want you out there to pray. Ask the Lord to give you wisdom. Wisdom. With wisdom. You will succeed in any situation. With wisdom, you will excel under any condition. With wisdom, you will be victorious over any enemy. Wisdom. Ask the Lord for wisdom. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. In all you're getting, get wisdom. Ask the Lord for wisdom. 
Lord, give me wisdom. Give me a discerning heart. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, our last prayer points before we give thanks. We are going to ask God for peace. In Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. The Bible says, Be anxious for nothing, but with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, make your requests known unto God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep your mind stable. Let's go to Philippians chapter 4. The book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. I read. Be careful for nothing, that is, be worried over nothing. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Your heart and mind, your heart, your emotions... Your mind, your intellect, it will keep you mentally stable despite the storms of life. Your, you will be mentally, psychologically stable, alert, sober, what, in whatever situation you find yourself. Whatever storm you go through, you will be mentally stable. Whatever victory you go through, you will be mentally stable. Because some people, when they have victories, they lose their thinking. They act very abnormal. They start acting in pride and arrogance. But when, but when you are praying, trusting God to answer your prayers, you will notice calmness, stability in your mind. And your heart. A peace that cannot be explained. A peace that is not understood by the natural mind. Because people will wonder, how come is it that despite what you are going through, you are smiling? How come is it that you are not troubled by what is happening in the world? You are calm. You are hearing horrible news, scary news. You are calm. That's the peace of God. Because you have placed it in the hands of God. You are not worrying yourself. You have placed anything that could give you worries in the, at, at, at the feet of the Lord. Placed it at his feet. And you are free. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that are um, heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Jesus gave an invitation for those of you who are burdened with one issue or the other. With one trial or the other. You are going through pains. You are going through emotional issues. Whatsoever. Jesus said, bring it to me. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. Cast them at my feet and I will give you rest. So now you are going to say, Lord, I place this body at your feet. Whatever it is that is troubling you. Whatever it is that is scaring you. You are going to place it at the feet of Jesus Christ and walk away free. Do that right now. Talk to God. Say, Lord, I place this issue. I place this health issue. I place this issue with my business, issue with my finance. Whatever that issue is, say, Lord, I place it at your feet. I lay it down before you. I lay my burdens before you. And I receive your peace. You lay your body at the feet of Jesus Christ and you receive his peace. Pray right now. Talk to the Lord. Whatsoever it is, lay it at his feet. Whatsoever it is, lay it at his feet. Lay it right now at his feet. Whatsoever that trouble is, lay it at his feet. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord God Almighty, the maker and the possessor of heaven and earth. Father, we thank you. Lord, we lay our burdens before you. We lay it before you. And we receive your peace. We receive your peace. 
Lord, I pray that you will intervene in the situations in the lives of my brethren. That, Lord, you will intervene. You turn that uh, trouble around. You turn that situation around. Lord, please, turn the heart of the husband to the wife, the wife's heart to the husband. Turn the hearts of the children back to their parents and their parents back to the children. Lord, I pray that you will bring normalcy in the lives of these ones. I pray, Heavenly Father, that that sickness that has troubled these ones will disappear right now. I pray your healing power will touch them. Everyone who is sick, in the name of Jesus, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Receive your healing now. By the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, I pray your power will flow right now. We move mightily, locating everyone participating in this service. Everyone, now, Lord, I pray that those who are, that every chain in their lives will be broken right now. I pray, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command every chain in your life to be broken. Chain of disease, chain of sickness, chain of demonic affliction and oppression and torment. Be broken in Jesus' name. Those chains in these ones be broken. I command every chain of the devil in your life to be broken. Every chain holding your destiny, I command it broken in Jesus' name. Every chain keeping you from moving forward, I break it in the name of Jesus. Every chain that is holding back your finances, that is hiding your finances from you, I break those chains in the name of Jesus. Every chain of limitation in your life that you can't go beyond a level, I break those chains in the name of Jesus. Those curses that have kept you bound, I break them in Jesus' name. I release you to maximize your potential. I release you to fulfill your destiny. I release your destiny helpers to you in the name of Jesus. Every ministry that is bound by chains, I break those chains in the name of Jesus. Those churches that are not growing due to demonic strongholds, I break those strongholds. I destroy those strongholds in the name of Jesus. I release the church to grow. I release in the name of Jesus the ministries to grow right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive your healing. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I pray you intervene in their situations. You know where they are hurting. As they cry out to you, as they, as they ask for help, Lord, I pray that you intervene. That you intervene. You send your angels to do things. Lord, thank you. You are doing it right now. Thank you. You are touching him. You are touching her. Hallelujah. That's the power of God. That's the power of God upon you. The power of God is upon you right now. The power of God is cleansing you. He's cleansing you. In Jesus' name, receive it. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it in Jesus' name. The purifying fire of God is upon you right now. The purifying fire. You are free in Jesus' name. That burden is removed. It's lifted off of your shoulders. You are cleansed of that affliction. In the name of Jesus, that charm that was placed in you is destroyed by the fire of God. That's the fire of God. That's the fire of God right now. Hallelujah. The power of God is moving. In Jesus' name, you are healed. You are delivered. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I see people being touched by the power of God. Some of you are shaking. Some of you are feeling that burning sensation. Some of you are feeling that the power flow through you. Some of you feel it like electricity. Some of you feel it in a different way. That's the power of God right now. I see someone manifesting demons. There are demons manifesting because the power of God came upon you. In the name of Jesus, I, I annul your covenant with death. I annul your covenant with the witchcraft kingdom. I cancel it. I break it in the name of Jesus. I release you from the power of witchcraft. I command you foul spirits. Be gone from him. Be gone from her. In the name of Jesus. Be gone from this person. In Jesus name. Be gone. I command you. Be gone. Lose him and let him go. Lose her and let her go. Right now in Jesus name. I want you to give God thanks. Thank him. Thank him for what he has done in your life. Thank him for answering your prayer. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Glory.
Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you for answering our prayers. You said if two or three shall agree as touching anything, it shall be done. I have agreed with my brethren. Thank you, you have answered our prayers. You said if, when we, that when we pray, we should believe and we shall receive. We believe you, Lord, and so we thank you as an act of faith. We thank you for we receive by faith that which we have asked. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want to pray with those who have not given their lives to Jesus Christ. Before I do that, I want to give you my contact, how you can reach me. On WhatsApp, on Telegram, you can reach me. I am David Agbona. You can reach me with this number. Plus two three four seven zero three 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 four three six eight. I'll call it again. Plus two three four seven zero three 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 four three six eight. Email David Agbona Ministries at gmail dot com. Agbona is spelled A I G B. O N A. I'll call it again. A I G B O N A. David Igbona Ministries at gmail.com. If you want to give your life to Christ, I'll pray with you right now. If you are not born again, it's a time for you to give your life to Christ. Just pray with me. Repeat after me. Lord God Almighty, I come to you today. I repent of my sins. I confess I have been a sinner. Lord, this day, I give my life to you, my spirit, my soul, and my body. I confess and accept your Son, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. Write my name in your book of life. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Keep me holy and righteous till the day I meet you. Thank you, my Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. You pray that prayer, you are born again. Welcome to the family of God. I look forward to hearing your testimonies, to receiving prayer requests, and also to fellowship with you. And if you want to support this ministry, you can reach out to me. I'll show you how. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Please do subscribe. And you have my permission. First of all, subscribe to my channel on my platform, David Agbona or David Agbona Ministries on BitChute on Rumble, on Odyssey, on uh, Brytheon. Feel free, subscribe, click on the bell notification, and like the video so that you see more of it. You click on the like button, you can leave a comment. I look forward to hearing from you. And you have my permission to upload this video to your own channel, on your own platform, if you have social media following, and let the people be blessed. God bless you.